Build, Putin unexpectedly lets out atrocious goals of war in Ukraine. Journalists of Build Media Tabloid have drawn attention to a passage of the interview of Russian President Vladimir Putin to the propagandist Dmitry Kiselev, in which he said, it is ridiculous for us to negotiate now just because they are running out of ammunition. Columnist Filip Pyatov expressed the opinion that this sentence alone makes it clear. Putin is using every military weakness to attack and achieve his goals of destroying Ukraine and enslaving the Ukrainian people. This exposes the mindset of the dictator and the naivety of those politicians who believe in peace talks with the Russian Federation. The journalist emphasized, Pyatov noted that Ukraine is currently suffering losses on several fronts because of not receiving enough weapons and ammunition, and according to the logics of some politicians, Putin should be ready to negotiate under such conditions. But the Russian dictator follows a completely different logic. By negotiation, Putin actually means nothing more than Ukraine's surrender. The columnist explained. Paul Ronsheimer, deputy editor-in-chief of the publication, also agrees with this assessment. This is a response to all those who continue to demand steps from Ukraine and the West to make negotiations possible. Despite the failures of 2022, when his troops were not able to take Kiev and he lost territories in the east and south, Putin's goal has never changed. Putin wants to destroy Ukraine by even greater numbers of his troops and military economy to deprive it of its existence, to erase its culture. As for the West, if we can't do more sooner or later, Putin will achieve that goal. Time is now playing in his favor, the journalist stated. A woman who came to the polling station to vote in the presidential election in Moscow, the capital of Russia, poured brilliant green into the ballot box along with the ballot. The woman was immediately detained and a criminal case was opened against her under Article 141 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation. He faces a prison sentence of three to five years. An old woman made a fire in another district in Moscow. He was detained and a criminal case was opened against him under the same article. Also, in Voronezh, Rostov and other provinces, cases of brilliant green being poured into ballot boxes were recorded. A criminal case was opened against all those who committed the incident under Article 141 of the Criminal Code. There's panic in the Kremlin. Putin's team doesn't know what to do with the situation. Russian President Vladimir Putin's quick reaction to the raid by volunteers of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion on the territory of Russia's Belgorod and Kursk regions indicates panic in the Kremlin. Putin has already had time to comment on the breakthrough of fighters of the Freedom to Russia Legion, the Russian Volunteer Corps and the Siberian Battalion in Belgorod and Kursk regions. He called the raid by the volunteers an attempt to disrupt elections in Russia and Ukraine's desire to get Trump cards for the exchange of territory in possible negotiations. The statement of the Russian president was explained by the volunteer of the Freedom to Russia Legion, Alexei Baranovsky, on the air of Channel 24. According to him, the attitude of the Russians to the raid of volunteers depends on their position on the war in Ukraine. The fact that Putin has already made a statement, although even a day has not 
not yet passed from the beginning of the campaign is a sign that there is panic in the Kremlin. They did not expect the vote to go this way at all, Baranovsky explained. According to him, the Kremlin elite doesn't know what to do with this situation and is starting to fuss. They are even coming up with terrorist attacks on behalf of Alexei Navalny who died in a colony on February the 16th. Putin's regime is bloody, so you can expect any kind of crime from him. The main thing is that Russian volunteers are ready to fight it. We call on all Russians to join our fight, Baranovsky said. Earlier, a video appeared online in which people calling themselves Navalny's militant squads announced terrorist attacks in Russia during Putin's re-election. The FSB's pattern is clearly visible here. It's no secret that Putin came to power by blowing up houses in Moscow. Now the Kremlin can repeat this bloody spectacle, Baranovsky added. He emphasized that a false flag operation is a classic of the Soviet and Russian security services, just as they acted in Soviet times against rebels in western Ukraine and the Baltic states, respectively the same plots Putin's regime uses inside Russian politics.